welcome to another Onlook Aviation review video. Now we've got the Typhoon H out here, our unique Typhoon, and today we're going to be looking at this. Now, in this very basic looking cardboard box is something that a lot of people have been waiting an awfully long time for, uh, to the extent where uh, certain rumours floating around the internet even implied it might never exist. Now the Typhoon is available in the advanced version, in the pro version, and obviously in a version with Intel RealSense. And the RealSense module changes the way that the aircraft performs quite markedly. So what we have here is one of the very first separate RealSense modules prepped for installation into your own Typhoon Advance. So at last, if you've bought a regular Typhoon, you now have the facility to install RealSense and an indoor positioning system yourself. So we're going to take a look at the instructions that come with it, have a look at the module itself, and then we'll see how complicated it is to get installed on our aircraft. So the module itself, as contained in the box, you'll see here, it tells you to take it out from this point here. This is the weakest part of the module. And everything you've got looks very simple. Um, all we have is the main chunk of circuitry with a single um, JST-style connector, which presumably is going to connect everything up. There's a little bit of Velcro in there. We have, on the other side, a USB port, presumably for firmware and other adjustments like that. The indoor positioning sensors are on the bottom. And at the front, protected by a little plastic screen, there's a set of RealSense cameras. Now, also included in the box, you get a small chunk of instructions and, critically, a small Allen key with an array of little screws. So hopefully that's all we're going to need to be able to get it installed. Now, the instructions are literally just this couple of pages here. So let's have a look at what it tells us to do. All we need to do is remove the gimbal, take the LED cover off, Connect the white port on the real sense to the white connector on the aircraft. Paste the white port to the Velcro on the real sense tightly. Keep the larger surface of magnetic ring attached to the real sense. This seems to make sense anyway. Place it onto the aircraft. Try not to touch the infrared lens, and then install the four screws. Simple as that. You need to make sure, obviously, as it says there in the notice, that you're at the correct firmware versions and that you have your real sense actually set up. We also get this little diagram here showing how simple it is. Gimbal off. Remove the LED cover, install the real sense, connect it up, and then make sure everything slid on nicely into position. So let's start taking our aircraft apart and we'll see how we get on. Right, so here we are ready to start installing the real sense module itself. Now, if you've never removed the gimbal from your Typhoon Age, then that's a very simple procedure. So this is step number one, as shown by our little single page of instructions. There's the fixing tab here. You just need to lift that up and basically slide the gimbal forward. And there she comes. Everything is connected via these little connectors here, so the whole thing just comes off as one module, and that can get tucked away safely. Then the next step, we need to look at the underside. So, flipping it over, we have the two little screws on the underside of the LED emplacement, so those need to come off next. And I'm going to try and do all this purely with the uh, provided tools, just to prove that they're, they're adequate. There we go, and we'll set those aside. So we can now see that the LED cover peels off very simply like that. And critically, as well as the LED under here, the single LED, you'll notice we have this infamous white connector here. Now, this is what the RealSense module itself is going to plug into. So all we need to do now is take our RealSense module, make sure that we've got this the right way around, Luckily, it will only fit one way, like most JST-style connectors. And press it in firmly. So there we go. RealSense module is now attached to the aircraft itself. So the next step tells us to make sure that we attach the Velcro as tightly as possible. And then make sure that everything that we need is covered up by the RealSense module as we stick it in. So. See that this obviously is meant to stick on with Velcro here. This looks like this will be by far and away the most complex bit of the uh, procedure. Trying to get it to fit nicely in here. And there we go. After that battle of wills we're connected up. Velcro is still in place. And it looks like all the requisite wiring is indeed contained within the module itself. 
The next thing we need to do is install the four screws that are provided. So we've got two obvious screw holes here at the back and there's also two at the front. And there we have it. Uh, with the module fitted, secured with just the four simple screws that came with it, uh, the gimbal just slides on exactly the way that it went, uh, came off initially, uh, just with a little bit less space to get it in there. So all we need to do now is fire up the ST16, confirm that we've got the correct firmware, and then check that uh, RealSense is enabled. And then we'll get it outside and check how it flies. So we have the ST16 fired up here. Uh, aircraft is sat inside, staring at a wall. Uh, GPS disabled and nothing else has changed. So first thing we have to do is go into system settings. And then once we're there, hit about controller and have a look down the bottom. As per the instructions we were shown earlier, the autopilot version needs to be a minimum of version 1.26. Uh, we're fully updated to the new V3 firmware, so we're version 1.29 here, which is absolutely fine. The ST16's version needs at the very minimum to be uh, version 3.1.B23. And you can see there we're 301B25. So again, we're absolutely fine for this. Then switching RealSense on is as simple as hitting other settings and then tapping RealSense module installed. There we go. I wonder if we thought it was going to be something more difficult. Going back from that, <clears throat> once everything's connected up, the only evidence you'll see of RealSense there is at some stage you may get um, the obstacle avoidance information appearing on the aircraft there. Thank you very much for watching. The RealSense module promises to bring some very interesting extra capabilities to the Typhoon H, so we're very excited to get it tested. Part two of this review will have us take the aircraft outside and see how the module performs in all the various modes that are available and try and answer some of the questions that the wider community have had. Does it work in return to home mode? Will it work in the various task camera modes? Um, or is it purely related to smart mode only? So we'll be as in-depth as we can and we hope to get that done within the next couple of days. We hope to see you back for that.